Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Geometries in ComSol Multiphysics. A host of videos we have already uploaded and again we are starting with a new set of videos where we are discussing about advanced geometry creation in ComSol Multiphysics. We have initiated the discussion on twisted geometry in our last lecture and we are continuing this. So in this lecture we are going to cover, we are, will be creating something like this. You can see this is a twisted geometry and we will learn about the making process. Before I start today's video, I would like to tell that we have initiated a service where you can write to us and we will be helping you developing your model via video calling. If you want to get this service, write to me. My email ID will be given in the description box and if you write to me, I will be replying back to you. So let us go ahead and create this particular geometry. So before I start doing this, let me tell you the logic behind this. So in the last video, we have shown you how to make a twist in a certain rectangular 3D model or you can say a rectangular parallel pipette and we have made a twisted one and you can see this particular geometry is a combination of multiple such twisted one which we have shown in the last video. I'll be putting the link of the last video in the description box. If you haven't seen that, kindly have a look at it. It will help you to understand this particular model. So we'll go to a new console interface and we'll create the geometry so that it becomes easier for you to comprehend. So before that, let me just check the dimension of the rectangle I have taken here. I'll take the same dimension. So this is 10 by 2. So initially you have to right click on geometry. You have to take the option work plane and under work plane you will have plane geometry if you right click on it you will be getting all the options you get in 2d we will be choosing a rectangle here and it, it was 10 by 2 i guess so this is the geometry now we have to extrude it so i right click on geometry i click on extrude and you can see the extrusion will happen in this direction. So the vector direction is given. This is normal to the plane of the rectangle we have taken. So let us extrude it up to 3 meter. And then we can actually twist it. There is an option of twisting. So let us twist it by 30 degree. And I create build all object. So you can see a twisted geometry is created. So this is how it looks. Now what we can do is, as I have already shown, we have to make a replica of this. We have to make multiple replica of this and we have to join it one by one. And that is the ultimate logic. So this particular one we can make a copy of it so to make a copy you can go to geometry here you'll be getting the option copy here in the transformation section so i click on copy i select it because this is the object i want to copy so initially just select the object and click on build all object so what happened actually the, this one is copied but it was superimposed on the initial one because we have not given any shifting but we have to make a shift because the new copied object should be stacked over it so there should be some z, z displacement and the z displacement will be this dimension and this dimension was 3 I guess the extrusion dimension so now you can see one object has been stacked over it but what i need is i need to superimpose the upper object on the surface of the bottom object 
and for that you, if you can see the if you see the geometry you can understand i have to make a rotation around it so if i if this is the axis and i make a rotation around it a particular a definite rotation then it will be sitting on the bottom object so for that obviously i have to take a rotation operator so here this is the rotate so which one do we want to rotate we want to rotate this one and that is why we select this one and specify the angle it will be minus 30 degree because we have twisted it by 30 degree it should be minus 30 degree you can see when we twist it by minus 30 degree then <clears throat> it superimposes and you can create a stack of two now <clears throat> we have to keep keep this doing so <clears throat> what we can do is we can actually take another copy because we have to repeat it means we have to copy further so now I will copy both the objects I mean this combination so I choose both this and again we have to make a jet shift now <clears throat> initially it was 3 and as a whole it has become the height has become something like 6 so we have to make a shift of 6 so I create build all object you can see and the similar object is created on top of the previous one now again you have to make a shift a rotation you have to do so for that again I go to transform take rotation and now this time the rotation of this particular one and the rotation should be minus 60 I guess let me check yeah this is minus 60 because initially it was minus 30 so now we do minus 60 so it becomes like this so now we have stacked 1 2 3 4 so we'll, we'll continue copying it so now let's go and take another copy and this time we'll copy the whole object again it would be 12 because initially it was 6 you can see 3 9 6 9 12 okay so i build all object so you can see another is created so again you have to make a rotation so let me take the rotation one and <laughs> rotation of which one the upper part so i should select it appropriately then what i do this time it should be minus 120 i guess because yeah now you can see this much is created so again <clears throat> let us repeat this entire one so we continue with copy we have to copy the entire object so i let me choose one by one so you can choose as a whole also but i'm taking one by one selection so this is selected and this one would be 24 I guess yes it is 24 again you have to make a rotation and this time the rotation should be minus 240 degree I guess because we are I mean we are multiplying the number of objects so the twisting is also changing so let us make it minus 240 degree we have to select the object so the object will be the upper one yeah we selected now we have given this angle yeah we have rotated so you can see this particular geometry we have created now you can actually manipulate this by changing the twist angle so you can have different kind of helical geometry and this kind of helical geometries are sometimes necessary for doing your physical problem that means modeling your physical problem and that's why I thought this would be helpful sometimes we generate micro channels also and helical mic making helical micro channel this can be useful 
I'll also make another video on how exactly we can make helical channel. We'll try to take different cylinders and then try to twist it and see what happens. So keep watching our videos. This series will be helpful for you. This will be advanced level geometry making. So today I stop here and I would like to request you to subscribe to my channel because it will give me more motivation to upload more videos. Thank you.